personnel groupings they've used and the way they like the formations. Is it still like that, or is oh, it still more basic? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they still. Uh, I think that's you know that is fine. That's you know, deception. And, uh, that's part of the game and uh, uh, the art of warfare, uh, so to speak. And uh, I think deception on both sides is, is always important. That you you have that you know uh, those days where we're, we're going to be. Here they know what we're doing. We're gonna do it. We're gonna spot it. We're, and uh, and that's good too sometimes. And uh, but you know you gotta give some people some credit too. And uh, so uh, uh, they do a good job. How hard is it on the endurance of the defense when the offense is scoring at, at such a lightning pace, like five touchdowns? No, it's just a plays. terrible problem to have. <laughs> 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 Obviously, uh, it helps to have a pretty nice, like you did against Boston College, it, it, but against yeah, Louisville, they I mean, killed you in time of possession. Bottom line, we got to play well, regardless of what the offense is doing. we got to get into a rhythm defensively. And uh, when you're not, I don't care what the offense, they can, you know, like the, the North Carolina State game was – uh, every bit as torturous as, oh, I don't know, Georgia Tech a couple years ago. We're down there. We're really playing pretty good, um, but we're not playing great on offense. Uh, those are two same kind of torturous. How you got there was a little bit different, but it was it's torture. Uh, uh, no, I mean, you know, you actually feel decent when you're playing good on defense. All the are great and all that, but I feel much better when we play well uh, uh, than when we win and don't play well. So, um, uh, that being said, if they're scoring, you know, great. You know, uh, uh, that does ch it changes the it can change dramatically change. You know, what's going on uh, offensively with our opponent. You know, when that's happening and um, maybe making them more predictable. And, uh, and again, a lot of that has to do with how we're playing. So I think that's first and foremost what's most important and that we uh, as a coaching staff and as a, a football team all understand that. And uh, you know, our job is to stop people, period, point blank, end of story. And uh, now if they're going three and out all the time and uh, uh, you know, not scoring, we're right back on the field. I mean, that's, it goes without saying that that doesn't help you, you know, if they're going really fast. But, uh, you know, it shouldn't change our mindset and our attitude. And uh, we've been incredibly fortunate. We've been really good on offense, uh, you know, for five years. And have been incredibly explosive. And we've really, for the most part, have complimented each other well. And uh, when, we've hang when, we, when we've complimented each other well, I think, you know, we've, uh, we crush people. And, uh, you know, when we can't get out of our own way, it's, it can be a dogfight and it can lose. So. That's really kind of our mindset. Mark Fields is a guy who hasn't played as many snaps as maybe some people expected this year. How big was it for him to make the kind of play he did at the end of the game Friday? Well, I think it, it's good for his confidence and um, some of the details. Um, there's some things that, that happened before the ball was ever snapped that he did a very good job of that put himself in that position. And then he executed the play and uh, did it really well. And um, I thought that was great for him, good for us, and um, moving forward, uh, you know, helps uh, you know him understand the importance of buying into you know systematically what we're doing, man-to-man -man there, it's a zone concept, understand the zone, align the correct way, put your eyes in the right place, execute, read and trust your key, all of it, and uh, you know finish the play. And he did a great job of that. I know before the season you said you were still looking for more consistency with him. If you started to see that as the years progressed, yeah, it's been yeah, it's been good. Uh, I think he's better now than he's ever been, and uh, he's getting closer and closer. How much has the emergence of uh, Albert Huggins over the last couple of games helped the depth of the interior, and does that even allow you, once Austin Bryant comes back, to have the option to keep Christian out of his end? I think I think Christian is his own entity. Uh, I think he can help us inside and outside, and that's how we'll use him. It's been great for, for Albert and for us, you know, his development. He's coming along and he's got a lot to continue to improve upon, but he's he's maturing and, and getting better and understand playing faster, playing lower, playing with more discipline. And uh, still got a ways to go, but he's he's, he's uh, really coming on. We talked talk Friday about how sustaining success is harder than mm -hmm. handling adversity. Are you finding yourself having to push different buttons with, with this team this year? Oh, always, you know. 
psychology at its finest, and everybody's different, you know. And uh, we got good leadership, though. And, uh, and uh, uh, but I think you got to coach him harder now than ever. Uh, you know, again, we're we got all kinds of things to be better at, and we got to continue to improve. Again, that's kind of our goal is to continue to get better. You know, as the year goes on. And, uh, and you have to coach them hard. We started our meetings yesterday with, you know, try not to be all negative, but okay, here's the thing. Y'all think you did great. Now look at all these things that your opponent's watching because it's there. The evidence is right there. And they weren't good enough to execute and exploit you. Or maybe they were. You let two backs run out of the backfield for big plays on, on you know, there's, there should be dumb calls uh, offensively for that. You know, and uh, but it just shows you. You know, we still got a lot of things that we got, even the very basics that we got to continue to harp on and continue to get better. And because uh, the really good teams that at the end of the year that are in position to compete for a championship are doing just that. They are getting. You're not. They're not regressing and just luck up and, and, and show up in a championship game. So uh, if we if we don't, you know, moving forward we're six and zero, and all of a sudden we start this week and we're regressing. Uh, and that starts to become a, a pattern, and you know we, we won't sniff the ACC championship. So uh, that's got to be our focus, and uh, we got to coach them hard through that and get them to understand. Some guys take it, some guys resist it. Uh, and uh, if you could be a fly on the wall, you'd say, "Well, he's resistant, and boy, he's easy to coach." And because uh, that, that happens, it's very natural. And our job as coaches is to hold them accountable and to get them to buy in. And, and if they don't, then you move on to somebody else.